Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the IKEA Freddy Gaming Setup. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about cable management and how easy it is to do when you've got this IKEA Freddy desk. It is literally effortless. I'm not going to lie, my one's not the best because I've been kind of lazy with it, but it's still pretty decent. And like I said, it's so easy to manage when you've got a desk like this. Uh, so let's jump into the video. So before I show you guys the actual cables, I thought I'd show you this first. This is what I used to set up all my cables, zip ties and stuff like that. Everything is in this one kit. And this actually cost me one pound from Poundland here in the UK. I'm not sure if you have similar stores like that in other countries, but if you do, then I'll definitely recommend going in there and checking it out because you might be able to find something like this. So let's go ahead now and take a look at the cables. Okay, I've pulled my desk forward so you guys can see the cables a bit better. And we're going to start off with the main power outlet, which is where all the power on my PC is running from. Uh, that is actually the extension that's hooked up to that. So I've got the cable just nailed into the wall so that it's not on the ground making a mess. And then it runs back there. And it is hidden just underneath this board. I do leave it exposed just a little bit so that I can pull out and push in plugs uh, easily if I want to without having to pull the desk forward every time. Uh, yeah, that is the reason why I've left it so that it's just slightly below the board. But most of the cables, except from that one, uh, are hidden away. Okay, it's the moment of truth. <laughs> I'm about to expose my cable management. Boom, there it is. Now, it looks a lot worse on camera than it actually is. <laughs> um, it's actually pretty neat, especially when I'm, my desk is pushed back. Bear in mind, my desk is pulled forward right now, so all the wires are like, you know, like stretched out. Uh, it doesn't normally look this bad. <laughs> uh, but basically, all I've done is with the extension lead that you can see there, I tried to nail it into the wall because it had those little holes in the back where you can like put it onto the wall with. This wall is very, very hollow, so it was not working. It kept falling back out. So I actually super glued it to the wall. Yes, I know it is a bit of a stupid idea, but it's not anything like Gorilla Glue, so it's not going to like rip out the wall when I go to pull it off. It's just normal super glue that will come off relatively easily if I pull it a little bit. It will probably take off the paint, but that's about it. And I can just repaint the wall. It's not a big deal. Uh, so yeah, I had to super glue that onto the wall and it's stayed there ever since. Um, for the cables, all I did is they're running from the extension up onto the wall. I've done this so that they're hidden behind the um, backboard here and I've nailed them in and then they run down into my PC well they run down into these which keeps them together here and then there's another one down at the bottom here as well and then they all run back into my PC my PC's got a lot of stuff hooked up into it which is why I thought it was definitely necessary to get these just to kind of keep them all together otherwise they'll all drop out uh, right here and you'll be able to see everything when I um push my desk back I'll show you guys that you really cannot see any wires except from this one because it's an American plug it's not laid out obviously the same way our UK plugs do as you can see with those plugs back there it's easy the wire just goes out the top uh, with this one the wire comes straight out which is a little bit inconvenient but it powers my oriental looking lantern up here so that's gonna have to stay there for now all right I've pushed my desk back now and I'll show you guys when we come under here as you can see like I said you literally cannot see a thing except from that one wire there. So this backboard up here does a really great job of hiding all your wires. And it's so big that it gives you a lot of room to do what you want with the cable management. Like I said in the beginning, I've been a bit lazy with my one. Uh, I will probably fix it up again in the future. But for now, I think I've done a decent job. So just to correct something I said earlier as well. I've also got a mini extension down here, which runs three um, plugs. And what I've actually done is this extension is hooked up to the mains and then this extension is hooked up to this one along with my RGB lights and the power source for my mic. So I've actually got two extensions, this one and this one here. Both of them hooked up to that power outlet which is back there. So there you go, that is my cable management. Like I said in the beginning, it is so easy to manage cables with that IKEA Freddy desk. It's got that big backboard underneath it which just makes it so, so convenient to do your cable management however you want to do it. Um, I am going to improve my cable management in the future, don't worry. Again, make sure to check stores like Poundland if you have something similar to Poundland in your country and check in a store like that uh, for this cable management kit because it only cost me £1 and that is so cheap for a cable management kit. That is like the cheapest I've ever seen one before. I might even buy a few more. Maybe we'll do a giveaway actually. Maybe we'll do a giveaway. If we get, I don't know, what's the goal? What should the goal be? If we get like 50 likes, on this video i'll give away five of these cable management kits if you get 50 likes let's see how that goes but yeah it's that easy i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you found it helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on bell notifications because i'm content 
just like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.